What's up everyone, this is John with The Faithful Platform and if you are engagement ring shopping or diamond shopping of any type right now, you might be asking the question, should I buy that jewelry online or in store? And these tips that I'm about to share with you have saved myself and my friends literally tens of thousands of dollars. So I'm gonna share them with you and hopefully do the same for you. So probably the most helpful thing I can share right off the bat is the differences in price from online versus an in-store context. In store, the average retail markup on diamond jewelry is anywhere between 300 and 1000%. That literally means that you could be buying a $1,000 stone for $10,000. I mean, that means that $9,000 of profit is going to whoever you're buying that stone from. That, that's basically your entire honeymoon. So definitely be aware of the markups from retail stores. Now, on the other hand, online vendors, good online vendors should sell with a markup anywhere between like 20 and maybe 300%. 300% is way high, but 20 to 50% is probably a fair range depending on who you're dealing with. So real quick, let me explain why retail stores have to mark up so much. If you think about just the basics of doing business, they gotta pay for rent, they gotta pay utilities, they gotta pay security costs. People love to rob diamond jewelry stores, so they have to pay a ton of security costs, they have to pay insurance, they have to pay display fees, they have to buy the inventory. So there are so many things that go into owning and displaying diamonds in a retail store, which is what makes it so expensive on the back end when they have to sell to you. So the second most helpful thing to talk about is product differences. Like, is the product in store that you're looking at gonna be any different from the product that you're gonna find online? And the simple answer is no. One of the things that throws people off in the diamond industry is value-based pricing, which means if you put two diamonds that are exactly the same side by side, and one of them's $5,000 and the other's $4,000, naturally we assume that the one that costs $5,000 actually has more value because it's more expensive. That's just not true. So you can go in a store, you can find your dream ring, and you can actually get that exact same setup, exact same stone, all the characteristics for much less online and you will sacrifice zero quality. None of that will be compromised by going online. So my advice to you would be go into a retail store, find a diamond, find your dream ring, take pictures of it, write down the characteristics, and then take that home and see if you can find a better deal online. And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you can find that exact same product online for cheaper. So now you might be asking the question, well, how can you know that the product you're getting in store is exactly the same as a product you might be getting online? Well, if you are buying a diamond, you have to buy a diamond that is either GIA certified for Earthmine Diamonds, write this down, or IGI certified for Lab Grown Diamonds. They are two of the most respected, world-renowned diamond grading systems. So if you're using these, they are categorizing the diamonds and the quality and therefore the pricing of them based on those certifications. So if you find a GIA certified stone, take a picture of their certificate or write down the details, take that home and as long as it's GIA certified online at home, you don't at all have to be worried that it's gonna be any different. You will be totally fine getting the exact same product. Real quick, if this video is helping you, hit that like button or subscribe or check out some of my other videos. I appreciate the love. Let's keep rolling. So at this point, we've learned that you can get the exact same product online and literally save thousands and thousands of dollars. So why do people still buy diamond engagement rings in store or diamonds and jewelry in store? It's because number one, the experience. When you walk into a store, there's a bunch of diamonds around. When you put it on your finger, it sparkles. It looks super beautiful. And then on top of that, you have these people telling you that it's a one of a kind diamond. They just got it in, whatever, whatever they're selling you on you think that that experience that you're walking into makes it worth it. Well, if you think that spending five, seven extra thousand dollars on that is worth the experience, then go for it. The second reason why I think people buy in store is because of the illusion of trusting somebody. When you're there face to face with somebody, they're talking, they're dialoguing with you, you think that you've built some sort of trust relationship with that person. But at the end of the day, you have to remember the chances of you ever running into that person again, unless they're a family friend or something, is incredibly low. You're going into a space, you're making a transaction, and you are trying to get in, you are trying to get the best deal, and they are trying to make money so they can keep the business running. Just remember that wherever you buy, it's a transaction. You need to get the best deal on your end. 
And then finally, the warranties or like, what if something happens with a diamond, something goes wrong. In almost every case I've ever checked, if there's a warranty attached to an in-store diamond, you have to take that back in-store once every six months or once a year to get it checked. Otherwise, the warranty is void. It's like 90% of retail stores. So if you move, if something happens, life gets crazy, you miss it, your warranty is completely void. So that's a BS reason why people might try and sell you on buying in-store and why that's better. And I forgot to add this. A lot of people have a fear of not seeing the product in person before they get to buy it. Well, I would say that's a legitimate fear. However, if you have cert certificates for the stones and on top of that, you think it's worth it to save thousands of dollars to buy your ring on an online basis where there's thousands and thousands of people a month buying online, there's a ton of reviews affirming that they're good products, that's a decision you gotta make. So the bottom line is, if you can get over the fear of not seeing it in person, you can get past the illusion of feeling trust with a one-on-one -on -one person, and you can find the same product online somewhere with all the same characteristics and it's GIA or IGI certified, then buying a diamond ring or a diamond jewelry online of any sort is a much better route. You can literally pay for your entire honeymoon with the money you would save or just pocket that and do something else with it. Hope this video helped. If you think it helped, hit the like button, subscribe, share this. And if you wanna check out a little bit more about what I do, check the links in the description and with my company, I'd love to help you out. My name's John with The Faithful Platform. Congratulations and good luck.